Let's go. All right. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Saints Gaming Overwatch. We're here, uh, Billabang and Danners coming at you from the nest. And season finale tonight mm -hmm. for the Saints. Uh, they're on the brink of playoffs. We'll see if they make it or not later in the season. But for now, we get to watch Elios as our first map against Indiana Institute Technology. Yeah, so Warrior Esports is the team they're going by, and right now, we also get to see the Saints with the modified roster, same as we saw from the weekend. And right now, with Jub Jub on Farah doing a bunch of work, and Jussie actually yeah, on sure. Widowmaker I doing the work to get this first capture. I can't hear you. There we go. This should be a little bit better. There, there we go. So we don't really see goats on this map. It's got some very long sidelines. So Widowmaker is almost primarily used on this map and it's uh, very effective. Ooh, nice snipe by Jub Jub on the Farah. And it looks like he's trying to circle around the back with his Mercy, trying to get a Winston going around the back as well. He's got a barrage ready, see if he'll land it on Reinhardt. Takes him out really quickly. Well played, able to get Lucio and it looks like that's gonna be Another wipe. Uh, Jub Jub does eliminate, going for the res in enemy territory. Very dangerous, but well played. He's able to zone them out with a Winston. Pick up two more eliminations, and they'll take this cleanly. And still keeping them in their base, though. This is kind of difficult for Warrior Esports. Just not able to really get anything started at this point. So this is a, kind of a dangerous position for Jub Jub, because that widow pops up and snipes either him or the Mercy. It's uh, a lot easier to take out one or the other. Oh, she's trying really yeah. hard to take down Jub Jub right now, but luckily does have teammates backing her up, but well played, finally denying him, getting rid of that Widowmaker. Yeah. And Jesse on a tear in the other back line, taking down Lucio. So Probably just, gonna force Warriors to retreat. So Jub Jub and Jesse are doing a lot of work in the back. Well played, and Jub Jub are really harassing the back line with their Winston Widow, or Winston Fire combo, and it's pretty tough for Warrior to even, Warrior Sports to get on the point at all because their uh, back line is just getting shredded before they can even make it anywhere near the point. Here we go, nice Toronto Defiant skin. Interesting choice. Let's go Toronto. <laughs> okay, they go Can't right into the little corridor, but Dowling the rest of the guys see it right away. Jub Jub melting two of them instantly. Deadeye coming out, not going to get a single kill with it, unfortunately. Well played, takes down two before going down himself. Yeah. But Kingdom Heart brings actually Jussie back. Get the sniper back in there. Get that widow. Yeah, so it looks like they just have to clean us up on point, and it's going to be a 99 to zero first point take oh. by the Saints. Oh. And seeing something you don't usually see out of them with the Widowmaker Far Mercy combo works really well for them on this point. The long sight lines allow almost exclusive Widowmaker on this map, and uh, they're able to take that 99 zero. Not really much of a pushback from. Warrior Esports had a few good opportunities where they got a couple picks, but immediately well played was on them, and he himself ended up getting at least two or three picks in those fights before they could even really get it together. And they're going to have to think of something new, because it looks like they're going to stick with the Fair Widow on this as well, see if there's any swaps. But um, ults weren't really used that much either on that point. Yeah, uh, it didn't they even feel like we got to the point where ult economy was even a thing. <laughs> yeah, they, they were able to just push them back without even really using any ults. So... Good on them for sure, and looks like they're gonna stick. With, they got a Reaper this time instead of a, uh, a Reaper this time instead of the Widowmaker on the side of Jussie. And we'll see if that fares better. We got a Brigitte. Looks like they might be going Goats here to stop that. One of the most effective ways to counter Goats is a Farah. So we'll see if their Goats actually does play well, stick together on this point. Yeah, as of right now, Jub Jub has not been harassed whatsoever in the air by this team. Granted, the Warrior squad did do a good job of getting right to the point and then just essentially setting up. But a nice boop there from Dowling to take care of the Zarya. One by one, the Warriors are going down. The Saints just having more firepower, it seems, in these close quarters areas. With just this Lucio left, this should wrap up the battle. Yeah, so Farah against the Goats is really powerful, especially on a map like this where you're kind of confined to one space to hold, and she can free shoot you from a distance. So definitely key for them is to find a counter for this Farah Mercy because it's just been wreaking havoc on them so far this game. And maybe even an answer for the Winston too because Winston has been doing a lot of damage as well to them. So it looks like they're going to rally in here. Yeah, and try with and the... The Ghost Comp, you of course want to be close, which that Barrage wouldn't be perfect for. 
doesn't find as many as I expected him to, but he does get the Zenyatta, which is a pretty critical loss from the Warrior side. As well played, goes on an absolute tear on the point. Team kill. Nice wipe there yeah, so they from did the side use, of the Saints. They did use four alts for that push, or sort of the uh, defense on the point. They still have a self-destruct, and they still have um, a big shield. We'll call Lucio's alt for now. Um, but they still have those two alts to use for when they push again. And there was three alts used on the side of Warrior Esports, so they will be without those. Oh, my and God. And Reinhardt gets taken out He was instantly. completely out of position from the rest of his team. It'll just let Blazen hop right in behind him and just light him on fire. And the rest of the Warriors are going to be slowly but surely casualties of the battle as well. Yeah, so unfortunately right now it doesn't look like Warrior Esports have an answer for this Farah. She isn't really getting harassed or picked. They're running this Goats as running it into the side of Saints again and again. Saints are pushing them back again and again. So see self-destruct doesn't really get anyone. Uh, there's another one coming up from the side of Warriors, but in the meantime, Jub Jub just went on an absolute tear with a quick triple. There's this the beat drop to keep everybody alive, but there wasn't really that much firepower there to yeah. begin with anyway. We only have 10 seconds left here for Warriors to get a, themselves on the board. And just the spawn camp with the barrage, forcing the transcendence right away, doesn't matter. That's so game one. pretty clean victory. There wasn't really an answer on the side of Warrior Sports for that Farah. She was terrorizing the back line and the front line of Warrior. And honestly, they, uh, they got to try something new maybe in the next game so they can solve this problem of what do you do against this Farah. Usually she's not used as much on other maps this Specific, specifically Elios, she's used a lot. Um, she has a lot of open places to go and a lot of long sight lines to take advantage of. So. And then, as we just saw there, the nice combo between the Death Blossom and the Primal Rage. Just so much chaos, like getting yeah. knocked around while also a Reaper is spinning to win in the middle of that yeah. control point. Nicely so, done. The common answer to something like that would be McCree because McCree has his flashbang, fan the hammer for the Reaper. He has hit scan for the Farah Mercy, and he also has his flashbang for the Winston diving in on him. Unfortunately, they didn't really protect McCree as much. He was more looking for flanks, which can be good, but usually if you're trying to protect your back line as they were trying to because it was getting taken care of. Uh, looks like we're going to go to Hollywood next, but if you, if you have... A McCree on your team that kind of counters a lot of the dive that um, St. Clair was facing. You keep in your back line, keep him beside your support. So when the Winston flashes in, or when Winston jumps in, you can flash him, take care of him at the beginning. Yeah. Then you can start your push. Unfortunately, McCree wasn't exactly doing that. He was uh, trying to flank. So definitely something to think about for the next map. We have Hollywood. We'll see, we did see a Saint special on this map earlier this season. So we'll yeah, see if maybe they... it was here at King's Row that they like to pull it out on occasion, right? Oh, yeah, they do it on that map, too. Um, looks like they're going to go with a Bastion set up on point. Now, if you remember from earlier this season, uh, I forget what school it was. Oh, um, yeah, I know. I think I know yeah. what you're about to reference. Was there, I believe yeah. it was their sec second, second weekend. There was a Bastion on this point. They simply just could not get past it. It was sitting up on the high ground. And we'll see if they maybe go for that strat again. It, was, it did work very well. And it even worked for them on defense for quite a while. They pushed it to uh, no time remaining, actually. Unfortunately, at the very end, it was taken care of. But we'll see if possibly it gets played more effectively this time. And they're able to you know, keep him alive, keep him healthy in the top. And he's able to almost defend point by himself. <laughs> or at least uh, do the most damage out of anyone else. Right? Yeah, because they got the setup here. They have the, the break for the backline defense. They've got the bunker with the Arisa Hog coming up. Yeah. And of course, this devastating Bastion. Let's see how well it'll be with Jesse in control. So, interesting point here, too. They do run a Road Hog instead of usually you'd run maybe a Zarya or even a second shield tank. But I think Ooh. they're trying to go for a cheeky hook comp here where when they try and go around, the Road Hog will hook someone into the Bastion and Bastion will just delete them instantly. Oh, this is actually so scary because they don't want to go into. Like the open to deal with the Bastion, but if they go into the corridor, Jub Jub is going to be doing so much splash damage yeah, on the entire sure. team that 
it's lose lose no matter which option you yeah. choose mm -hmm. unless Jub Jub goes a little yeah, bit overextended you you and get, gets sniped out. You need to get a pick on Jub Jub here to start it off, and then you can move in and take care of the Bastion. Because as long as that fairy is alive, she's going to be harassing your backline insanely. So oh, that's, that's the nice combo hook. right there. there. We go. The halt and hook, doing so much damage, just taking Zarya yeah. down instantly. Barrage available. He's just gonna essentially use it right away as soon as he gets it. Yeah. So Not he's trying to isolate kills, this but... Junkrat uh, from the side of Warrior. He does get healed up. Is able to get out. I'm not sure exactly that's the greatest pick against this comp, uh, especially the Bastion being so far back and the Farah very hard to hit as a Junkrat. Mm -hmm. Possibly something like uh, Hanzo against the uh, Bastion is usually pretty effective as you can use a Grav Dragon in your, to your advantage. Um, they are able to get past the Choke, which is very important and able so to So much damage and right now, yeah. Jub Jub is about to get his Barrage again. Absolutely crazy work so far. From the Saints. And there's the Barrage once again taking down Lucio right away, as well as the Zarya. Poor Devo stuck here in the corridor is going to get absolutely ganged up on by like at least three of the Saints. Yeah, so honestly, Jussie isn't really working that hard. He's just kind of chilling there up on the ledge and he's letting Jub Jub do all the damage here. Um, I got to say, Warrior does have to bring out some kind of hit scan to be able to take care of this Farah. Not sure exactly what they're going to be looking for, but the. Um, Ooh. Sombra isn't exactly working out so well. I mean, like, Usually, you're supposed to sneak around and try and, like, hack, like, a little pick with your hack or whatnot, but yeah. he well, was way further ahead of his team. What you have to do is, as Sombra, is you have to hack the Farah, because if you hack the Farah, a couple patches ago, they made her not able to fly. Yeah. So she is basically grounded, and you can get past this choke point no problem. So it looks like they're actually going to bring in a tracer. Interestingly enough, okay, and they so do have a widow as well, and Jub Jub does uh, does almost get picked by that. See if she's able to actually take him. Here, hop in with Jesse here as he just melts unexpected right away, and he's got the tank right as the rest of the warrior squad are coming up the stairs. The perfect timing to pop that ult as the rest of the warriors are gonna go down. Okay. Jesse just lighting them ablaze with that. So it actually tank. wasn't a bad idea. The warrior coming in behind or underneath. <laughs> Uh, able to rush around the back and surprise the Bastion. Unfortunately, uh, Jussie did have his tank. Well, fortunately, depending on how you look at it. Mm -hmm. But Jussie did have his tank up, and he was able to basically take care of the healers in two shots. So they're able to hold that point. No problem. Reese looks like she's coming off Supercharger. And Jub Jub is pushing up that barrage again. Uh, he's getting those up very quickly. So he will have that available to him as well. And looks like the... Roadhog is sleeping on well, point. They actually bring out the Widowmaker, but it might not matter if the like Saints won't even let her get into position. Yeah. Three members of Warriors going down pretty well right away. And there's going to be another one with the hook from Blazin coming in to finish off the Ana. Jussie taking out Unexpected, who has switched over to Soldier. And they've been switching so much to try and figure out what to deal with this comp <laughs> that they don't have wow. any ultimates. They, that uh, Shatter was the only yeah, thing that they good. had. And they're not even going to be able to get to use it. Yeah, it was... Uh, he was trying for that Shatter so hard, but Roadhog just told him, no, no, you're going to you're gonna stay up in the air for a while there. That is the most depressing <laughs> feeling. <ever. laughs> Where you're like halfway through your alt and your sway and you're like, just let me down. I've only started playing Ryan like the past two days, and that's happened to me at least three times. Yeah, I don't you know got See, the the tendency is is that when you're going for a big shatter, you want to make it like a basketball dunk where you're like super high up, and then they don't, say, and then you come down with That's a big hammer because it's satisfying, yeah, it's, it's right? It's satisfying. I mean, not smart. <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't usually work. Usually, you get bopped, you get stunned before you can actually make it to the ground. But if you do hit it, it's very satisfying. But um, well played by Saint Clair Saints. They defended very well, methodically. They were able to keep that. Jub Jub alive in the air, and you know he the widow was hitting him a few times, but Mercy was able to heal him up. She uh, really needed to figure out how to solve that problem before they could take care of anything else. So we'll see if maybe we get a. Like you think of the the team come like you think of a Bastion, the whole team just all of a sudden like okay we have to deal with this Bastion. How are we dealing with the Bastion? Well, it doesn't matter because you couldn't even get through the Farah first. Yeah. yeah. And then, okay, maybe you got into a position where you can avoid the Farah. Now you have the Bastion. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have an answer? Like, you saw them switch to Junkrat, which sure is the answer for a Bastion. 
But a junk rat is not going to be able to hit a far no. whatsoever. Yeah, they were definitely uh, definitely couldn't figure out what exactly to do in that situation. So, well played by the Saints, and uh, we'll see if they can take this first point. They need to take the first point. Take the first checkpoint. On. They actually mimicked the. Uh, yeah. The, so the Sombra comps. does actually manage to get behind here. So she's most likely going to go hack the Bastion. Yeah, he's sitting yeah. right in position, but isn't quite making his move yet. He's looking for the Bastion. Is he going to be able to get it? So Jub Jub does get picked, and they lose the Diva Max. So I don't know, think she's gonna, he's going to pull the trigger yet. Yeah. We'll see when he decides to actually hack, because as soon as that hack oh. goes on, yeah. So Dowling does go down. So it's going to be a couple more picks coming through. They are getting pretty staggered uh, doing this. So unfortunately, I think they're just going to let themselves die, and J Jesse's just going to wait in the back for a little bit longer. See yeah, if he he's can. Still in yeah. position. He's just chilling there. He's, he's enjoying his time with the views. But this will be interesting to see how the Saints have to deal with their own comp, yeah. or at least one that they just used anyway. Okay, he's still right there. Rain waiting. I'm trying to see when he goes in, but I'm not getting lucky so far. There it is. And he does get slept it right away, forced to teleport away. Well played, dives in. The Bastion is taken down quickly by Jub Jub. There's the Barrage, but the Barrage put her in prime time spot for. Jump jump to finish them off. Mercy extremely low on point. Jump jump on the chase. Does take them down. And there is a Dragon Blade coming out. Can he single handedly tear this team apart? He's got one so far. Looking for the Roadhog next. Takes them down as well. And then Lucio's trying to charge in to contest the point. They only need the first tick. And there it goes again. Everybody is down. It's just a matter of blocking them off. And that is a yeah. quick. So that's how you take care of the Bastion comp, is you pull out a Sombra, able to get in back undetected. Then when you hack the Bastion, everybody jumps in on the Bastion. Usually Mercy is beside him, and you're able to take down the Bastion Mercy, and then you can pretty much take point from there. Uh, Jesse getting the play of the game. I'm guessing this was the transformation ultimate as the Warriors charged him at the very end. I could be wrong, though. So yeah, lights up unexpected, and yeah, per perfect timing as they come up the stairs. Just lighten them up. Nicely done from Jesse, and a very... Well played game from our Saints wow. squad. 49% of team zero damage. It's the power of a boosted Farah. Dang. Well, this worked out because we have another game at yeah. 9 o'clock. And these guys were actually worried that they were going to kind of collide. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. I don't think they're going to collide. <laughs> It's funny because I'm trying to, like, I try to be as neutral as possible without sounding toxic. But dang, that was quick. Yeah. What the heck? Why are you feeding? Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> it's too many deaths. But uh, good game, well played. Well, we've had a few games like that. We've also been spanked like that. So it happens to everyone, right? Some some games come easier. Some games, not so much. So good training and. Uh, it's like we have one more game coming up. Yeah, night. so I have the opponents. I was told it. It's on Discord, though, so I'm going to need a second. But we do for sure know the team, but I'm kind of nervous because they haven't been in contact with any of us yet so far, it sounds like. Yeah, so hopefully we do have another game. But uh, some of these opponents aren't so... Uh, Timely. I don't know. I don't really know how to put it. They're not on time all the time. But I mean, that's I'll give these guys credit. They were pretty much yeah. around the ball. Yeah, for sure. This is what we like to see. But um, we took care of them, and it's good to see. You know, we got some newish players, some old players coming back in. But uh, yeah. Okay, they tried to, to get it started early, but they weren't quite ready. So, which Where's rightfully it? so, they still have thirty minutes technically. So this is Graceland G University. Graceland University Esports. All right. So we don't really know what they look like, but we will soon. <laughs> How you doing? He's giving us <laughs> like they're done, but hey, it's good to see confidence. That's no, good, especially at the end of the season, just having the confidence to just make one final push, hope to secure yourself the playoff spot mm -hmm, for sure. To get some more Overwatch action here this semester. That'd be nice. Absolutely. Be nice. So, at this point, we have about 35 minutes until the scheduled start time of the Graceland University match. If somebody hops into competitive queue, as always, we will get that point of view for you. In the meantime, we'll just throw on some music. 
any final thoughts of the match versus uh, more esports? Mm. Uh, you got to work on your hit scan over there. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just kidding. Um, well played by St. Clair. They played to their strengths and they knew what worked. Fair and mercy. So they played to that. And obviously it was uh, very, um, <laughs> very destructive. Yeah. Fair and mercy with <laughs> the passion in the back line. Like that's a lot of fire firepower that yeah. you have to defend, but For they sure. defended it quite nicely. Yeah. Don't worry, Warrior. I still love you. Yeah. Any team that shows up on time, we love. <laughs> yes. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Been cheesed a little bit too much this season for that. So. It's, it's had its moments. Tespa, <laughs> Tespa if you're watching. <clears throat> Help. Yeah. <laughs> but, yes. Um, I think that's a bit about it about for now. It. A bit about it. A bit about it. That's all, right. all folks. <laughs> all right. We'll see you in about 30 minutes. Peace.